Hello dear fans. What is atmosphere? The atmosphere is a gaseous envelope that not only the Earth has, but also other planets and stars. The atmosphere of the Earth is distinguished by its own unique parameters. Above, it borders on near-Earth space, below on the lithosphere and hydrosphere of the Earth. Instructions Step 1 the atmosphere is a mixture of several different gases that surround the Earth and make it possible for living organisms to exist on the planet, protecting from the harmful spectrum of solar radiation and providing oxygen. The atmosphere is dominated by nitrogen, about 80%, and oxygen, about 19%. All other gases together account for less than 1%. These are carbon dioxide, helium, neon, argon, ammonia, krypton, hydrogen, methane, nitrogen oxides, and water vapor. Step 2. The atmosphere includes several layers, troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, exosphere. The troposphere reaches a height of 9 to 15 kilometers above the Earth's surface. This is the warmest layer of air heated by the sun's rays, its temperature drops with distance from the Earth. Airplanes fly within the troposphere and almost all clouds form here, since a large amount of water vapor is concentrated here. The height of the troposphere over different regions of the Earth constantly fluctuates, the minimum is above the poles, the maximum is above the equator. Weather and climate are largely determined by the troposphere. Step 3. The stratosphere ends about 50 kilometers or more from the Earth's surface. In its upper part is the ozone layer, which holds back harmful ultraviolet radiation, which is why the stratosphere is so important for life on the planet. Step 4. The next layer is the mesosphere, extending to an altitude of 70 to 80 kilometers, within which the coldest part of the atmosphere is located, the temperature here is less than minus 200 degrees Celsius. The existence of the mesosphere saves the planet from the meteors that burn in this layer, since the contact of the meteor with oxygen molecules creates very high temperatures. Step 5. The thermosphere is located at an altitude of about 100 to 700 kilometers. Its name is determined by the extremely high temperatures. The thermosphere, in turn, is divided into the ionosphere and magnetosphere. Ionization, receiving an electric charge by particles, as a result of exposure to solar radiation, creates the ionosphere. Thanks to this, people have the opportunity to observe the polar lights, as well as use radio communications. The magnetosphere, acting like a magnetic field, protects the Earth. Step 6. The exosphere, or scattering layer, is the upper layer of the atmosphere. On average, it is located at an altitude of 600 to 700 kilometers, although the lower boundary is constantly changing, and the upper one is within 2 to 3,000 kilometers. There, the exosphere gradually passes into space. This layer consists of a rarefied ionized gas and the distance between the particles is very large. Step 7. It is customary to distinguish another layer of the atmosphere, the biosphere, the area of existence of all living things. Within its boundaries is the life of plants, animals, and humans. Plants play an important role in participating in the process of photosynthesis and providing the oxygen needed by humans and animals. Thanks for watching.